Dude, I was the original simp, bro. I went, <laughs> I went hard for it. <laughs> that was the original one. <laughs> what? You want to read my palms? Yeah, that's awesome. Do you also believe in astrology, too? Because I'm a Capricorn. I think I do great. <laughs> <laughs> I already hate you. What? You're a Taurus? Oh, that means I'm a Pisces. Then. Never mind. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Anime Casuals. I'm Lucky. Here I go! This hand of mine is burning red! And I'm Michael. Realize the only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. Johnny. Your darkness swallowed up my son? Who decided that? Opting! Burning! Now all of you. Die. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Anime Casuals. I am Lucky. And I am Michael. I'm Johnny. And we make up Anime Casuals. Welcome back to our casual discussions. We are officially <laughs> back, and Michael has one glove on, and you know what that means. We're talking about furries! That's why I hate that is right. We are talking about furries today, guys. So I have been uh, trashing them uh, quite a bit in my podcast. Um, I don't know exactly. I think it's because I had a really bad experience. And for people that don't listen to the podcast, I want to tell you what this experience is. I have to omit some stuff because um, I may or may not have been under the influence of something. But anyway, I was um, I was in a Taco Bell drive through and I come out and you know, by the way, there was a furry convention going on, and all of a sudden, I drive out, and, you know, I, I'm driving out, and all of a sudden, like, right when I get past, like, to the end of the driveway of this drive through um, which you still have to go for a little bit to get actually out of the parking lot, I end up looking over, and I'm just, I, I swear to God, this guy is, or girl, I don't know, um, is in this, <laughs> is, is in this fox costume, and... Away from all the other, the other people were just like, you know, hanging out in the parking lot. They were just by themselves under like a creepy spotlight, just looking at me, or uh, like a, a street lamp, that kind of thing. They were just looking at me and like, I made eye contact with them. I guess eye contact. I was looking at the furry eyes, but you know, anyway, I ended up like driving out and they were still looking at me and I just, <laughs> I can't get them out of my head. So I decided to just keep trashing them. Um, but <laughs> I thought this would spark, uh, you know, we're all about uh you know conversations here and you know talking mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. uh different parts of the anime community which this is kind of in the anime community kind of in just a league of its own um but there is um there's obviously you know anthrop anthropomorphic um you know things also in anime you know we also see mm -hmm. mixture of you know we we see um in one piece there is the uh the people of zo and uh i've uh, what, what are they called again? The... It's Zoo, bro. Zoo. Come on. No, it's probably uh, Zoo. <laughs> yeah, uh, who, who are the Garchu people? The uh, uh, the furry people? Garchu people. Garchu people. Uh, I completely forget what they're called. The mink? Meeks? Yeah, Meeks. There you go. Uh, yeah, me yeah, whatever. Gosh, I remember too. Um, I couldn't. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we, I was obviously, just not remembering a minute. Obviously, there, oh, yeah. Yeah, obviously there is a lot of um, overlap. There's some overlap. I'm not going to say a lot because um, I don't want to be lumped in here. But, um, yeah, so... What do you guys? By the way, I'm going to read the definition off of Google yeah, you real should. quick, you just should. so you just should. so people yeah. know what we're talking about. Um, this is this is what it told me: um, an enthusiast for animal characters with human characteristics, in particular, a person who dresses up in costume as such character or uses one as an avatar online. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know what? Before I get into into it, what do you guys? What are you guys' general opinions on furries? Okay, so I would, I am in a weird, unique position to have gone to a convention that was literally next to FurryCon for about four years in a row. Um, FurryCon, at least in um, San Jose, being a thing that they hold every year where a bunch of furries would go, and then it's just a regular convention, I'm, I'm guessing, because I, I, I didn't have a ticket, I couldn't go inside. So... My my viewpoints are skewed. Either I'm like, hey, you're a furry, you're pretty kind, you're cool, but you're you know, you know, your inner spirit animal is coming out. Sure. You know, you be you, whatever. Lucky, shush, shush lucky. That's a bad lucky. Uh <laughs> <The> shift. <laughs> 
But on the other hand, I've seen some disgusting people who use fur, like furry or the furry convention as a means to an end of stuff that they want to do. Like, example, like there's there's a key code when you go to conventions to shower or to be clean so that you don't stink the area around you up. Yeah, like I'm looking at you. Uh, <laughs> and when I was at this convention, or at least nearby, there was a dude who was dressed up all in leather, and his inner animal was in a bat. And I was like, okay. But he stank to high heaven and was trying to hit on everything around him. And he was very drunk. And I'm like, okay, well, my good man, it's cool, be drunk. Stinky, okay, well, remember, we're all in an elevator together, so, like, it would be nice if I didn't have to smell you a foot away. Um, and then trying to hit on everything that moves, I mean... You know, we're just, you know, a bunch of people who are attending this convention next to you. Stop hitting on us, please. And so there was, like, a weird mixture between people like that who are, like, just trying to get sex and, you know, just trying to, you know, have a crazy time the entire time. And then there's nice people who take a lot of care into um, their costumes. Like, I saw somebody who looked like Sully from Monsters, Inc., except obviously not directly like that. It was a big, fuzzy, like, blue and purple thing mm -hmm. and i was like oh you're really cool they let us take pictures because it was like really really neat uh, occurrence to see this kind of crazy person um and then there's people who just like you know they wear tails and i'm sure if we really went into furry life we would know that the definition for all these types of different people but you know like anything there's people who vary on both sides and it's the people who are disgusting that ruin it for everybody else <laughs> And I think that's, like, really where I feel like some stereotypes are being furries comes out is the people who, like, take it way too far and are disgusting about it or, like, yeah, all furries want to do is bang and that's about it. So they, they develop a reason to do that. And then there's, you know, nice people and or, like, real people, you know, who are, like, yeah, I just feel like my inner spirit animal should be on the outside. And I'm, like, cool. So that's my quick take on furries. Johnny, quick take. Go. Hot take. Bam. Hey man, do what you will, and it's just as easy. No, as that. actually, I don't. I really don't have too much of an opinion. I haven't had really any experience with good furries or less than favorable furries. Um, Gurries. I mean, yeah. that's it's even the kind of thing. I mean, where do you draw that line? I mean, because you were talking about you know as far as like a dude all dressed in leather, and then you even said just people who wear. I think you you said tails. Yeah. So I mean, just wear tails. Is that still? in the same level as furry? Because, I mean, cat girls, it's an anime thing. I don't think anybody really hates cat girls. But, I mean, I don't know. Definitely kind of an interesting spectrum. I mean, it might be that, that like, our anime conversation was like, well, what is anime? It's like, what is furry? But yeah. only, you can only determine that if you're in the culture. Like, I don't think we on the outside can determine <laughs> what a furry is because while Lucky hates them, you know, we all have our own kind of a, like, None of us take part in that culture, so we can't really determine what it is, to be honest. Michael, Michael, calm down here. I, I hate is a really strong word. I'm just saying. Sorry, that, I'll say it differently. I'm just, I'm just saying that they are going to be the downfall of our culture as we know it. So that's not. A, there's no, a big okay. difference no, there. You know, I fear them. There, there's, there's a big difference <laughs> there. And so, uh, no, I mean, obviously, I'm kidding, guys. But and it's very easy to hate on the furry community. I will just say this. The people that happen to be furries are also people that I happen to, like, not like their personalities very much. So, <laughs> I was about to say so that. It, 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 it's, 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 I don't know exactly what it is. Like, I've never met somebody that has been openly, like, a furry or anything like that. But the people that I see interviewed, like, at, that are furries, I'm kind of like, I don't, like, whereas if I, you know, if you, you see people that watch anime, it's like, oh. That's like Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, he watches anime. That's cool. You know, you kind of see that. Mm -hmm. I don't see the same thing in the furry community. Now, I could be wrong, obviously. You know, there is a lot of... Um, I can't believe I'm talking about this with furries. There's a lot of discrimination against them. And so, obviously, it's it's hard for them to kind of come out um, and, you know, say that they're a furry. I did have a brief encounter with one on Omegle when I was, um, you know, going around uh, doing the uh, anime chats on Omegle. And... Um, you know, I mean, the guy was cool, but, you know, it, it, it also, you know, it was also very weird. Um, and, you know, I ended up reading this uh, 
why was it in Women's Health? It, it was in a Women's Health magazine. It was like nine things you don't know about furries, and you know why? Uh, why you'll change your mind? I was like, why is this in a Women's Health magazine? But anyway, um, you know, and you know, one of them is like they're just like you. They are not just like me. There's a big difference <laughs> um, in in the way that we express ourselves. Now, does that mean that they should be discriminated against? Of course not. But it, it is very. Uh, it's a very odd. Um, thing also when they end up going in the streets that's where i'm like because mm, you know after the convention they have to go eat somewhere and all that kind of stuff it's a little freaky when you see a bunch of them just walking down the street um yeah a bunch of them lucky oh yeah. my goodness yeah and uh yeah <laughs> because they're you know they're animals so you know <laughs> they're they're doing their <laughs> is, say, is it because they're animals i mean what 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 would be the difference between that and i guess a cosplayer. I mean, granted, I mean, cosplay, you're making it into a manageable form. I don't know. And then there's a different oh. I think atmosphere you to can, it. I think no, I know, but that's what I'm can, saying. You can see their face in cosplay for the most part. There's obviously masks and all that kind of stuff. Even if I, if I saw a bunch of, like, uh, screams or whatever, uh, ghost, was ghost face killer? Uh -huh. Whatever, ghost face killer. Uh, that's, that's a rapper. Ghost face. Um, if there's a bunch of ghost faces, like, running around, I'm also going to be a little paranoid. So just the fact that there's no face that I can see of anybody um but yeah i mean like i said i i have funny funny hate towards them in terms of uh <laughs> you know it's very easy to pick apart also it's very easy to go after the sex culture of a small minority of that a small minority of them do um and that is super weird you know i mean it's kind of like uh you know i always make fun of Samoans, right that, you know they date, they date their cousins and all that kind of stuff that's a small minority of us but i'm gonna still talk about it like it's everybody because it's hilarious um <laughs> you know it's still, it's really funny to just talk, pick on the the a minority of a person of a of a like a group and act like it's their their whole group that's kind of what comedy is for the most part because if you actually talk to everybody you'd realize that they're not nearly as crazy but i like to be ignorant and uh and wreck people <laughs> so it's much much funnier that 2021 way. lucky right there yeah. i like to be ignorant <laughs> by the way if, if anybody is a furry we would love to have you on i would love to interview you and uh you know get your perspective i'm actually thinking about doing an anime omegle chat where i i type in like my my uh likes i type in furry which i'm scared to death on what i'm gonna find on there uh that's <laughs> good luck buddy we won't uh, see you the same afterwards yeah i mean i already told you guys like i every time i go on those stupid omegle chat things that i have to do like i i'm exhausted afterwards because just <laughs> meeting all these people and oh anxiety but, um, you know yeah. but then again but then again like afterwards like i meet some great people there's, there's some great people that we've had on uh, the Omegle chats, but yeah, for some reason, furries just for for some reason, I guess I guess they just don't sit well with me. I, I don't know exactly what it is. Does it, does it sit well? Can can we at least say that there's mm -hmm. there's like uh actually I don't want to speak for everybody, but I, I'll just say for me, it something about it just doesn't sit well with me, and that's okay. Like they are more than welcome to do what they want to do, but at the same time, like whenever I see them, I get a little like abrasive. Like oh, I gotta deal with this. <laughs> it's an animal. I gotta fight it. Yeah. <laughs> and you know I, I like i've seen um i think uh what's his name uh, anthony padilla the, one of the people from like smosh um he had like a bunch of furries on um at one point and uh, i'll be honest with you uh not exactly the people that i'd want to hang out with <laughs> <laughs> same thing uh but you know i i gotta i gotta admit there's a lot of creativity in that whole process of um, doing that kind of reminds me of one of my friends is like he's into like stormtrooper cosplay kind of thing or what are those five oh first or something like that yeah um, he's really yeah really into that kind of stuff and i mean you could argue that's pretty similar but also more of a widely accepted medium like star wars is like everywhere it's a worldwide thing so it's uh yeah i mean i, mm. I don't know Fur furries are just weird for me so i mean what do you guys think about that is it just because they belong to a medium that's so like nobody really sees it whereas like if you t talk to anybody about Star Wars, like they'll know at least what, even if they've never seen it, they'll know what it is. I mean, I feel like at this point, people know what furries are. I mean, especially with the amount of memes that are around about it, like, you know, you know, people liking animals, and then are like humanoid animals, and then like people like even like when brony culture started, like I would say that's. That's around also like furry culture also like kind of rose kind of next to brony culture. I forgot about bronies. Yeah, you for, yeah you forget about bronies and they get you, uh, <laughs> and then you become one. Uh, or people who are close to you are them. And I'm trying to like remember. I'm like I think I knew a couple of people back in high school who were furries or like 
would bring around a tail um, like while walking around. And like again, like my biggest basis thing is just that I think it is a minority thing that people don't quite understand a lot about it. I think that's where the the mistake comes from. I think, like you said, with stormtrooper, like if you're dressing up a stormtrooper, you can probably assume what they're doing. Like it's probably not going to be this crazy thing, you know, where you know they've got all these secret rituals or classifications for everybody who's inside of it. You know, like hey, th those people who wear stormtrooper helmets are this word. Those people who, who don't wear stormtrooper helmets are this people. And then the people who dress up the, like the lieutenants of the empire, they're this word. It's like. Okay, well, I mean, it's probably not that crazy, but I feel like in furry culture, you could have all sorts of people. Mo mostly because you could go cosplay, and you could go head to toe, whatever animal you want to look like if you're going, like, like full out. Or you could just be like, hey, I'm wearing a bunch of furry clothing. I'm a dog. And then you could be also the person who's just like, I put on a little dog tail. Or, like, reindeer antlers. And a red nose. No, 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 sorry. Well, I mean, cat ears are so general. I mean, I have to go back to cats, but I mean, it's yeah. kind of the same thing. You I mean, just wear cat ears mind, and then but... be like, I'm a furry. It's like, there's people who do that. <laughs> Johnny, are you trying to fuck cats? Jeez, man, come on. What's going on here, man? I watch anime. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, that, I mean, well, it brings up a good point, right? Because we have Monster people like, we have people good. like Rap Raptalia. We have people like, you know, from Resident Evil Shield Hero. Oh. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it, it's an interesting thing. And we kind of, um, and, you know, it's not like um, us uh, anthropomorphizing um, animals is like a new thing, right? Giving them human characteristics. Um, it's not like a new thing or anything like that. And I think it, it's an interesting thing, too, because um, I, I'll be honest with you. I actually, when I, I, I was just like, you know what? Forget these guys. All they talk about is wolves, you know, uh, cats, all this stuff. Like, where's the real animal? So I looked up Honey Badger, uh, <laughs> furry. I found one. I was like. You got my respect. I, 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 can respect <laughs> I can respect that. You know, at least going for like a uh, you know a different animal, that kind of thing. But um, but yeah, I huh. think it's interesting though, right? If you if you it, it it seems to overlap pretty well with cosplay. The only thing I would say is it seems like more furries are into their characters because they're masked. They, like I said, they they don't show themselves, so they feel more comfortable becoming that whole thing. Whereas like if I dressed up as like you know somebody, I wouldn't be just like completely into that all the time like i i would have phases of it where like you know somebody wants to take a picture and i'd like do the pose like the person all that kind of stuff whereas the furries are much at least from what i've seen they're a little bit more likely because there's some of that anonymity to them that it's uh it's a little bit easier for them to become that character and become or uh, i don't whatever you call their fursona i guess is what persona, I keep hearing, yeah, yeah for, for their fursona five which has come out already so uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. you're saying first? Oh, yeah man. i would also say like it's yeah it's stupid isn't it yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding guys yeah. just kidding, just kidding. All, all, all our furry friends out there <laughs> i would also say in a sense it's easier to get into the mind of an animal than it is to the the mind of a a character from your favorite video game or a character from like uh, your favorite show because I feel like animals have basic personalities. Like while every animal could be different, you know, one's a little bit more likable, one's a little more friendly, one's a little more grumpy. Animals sort of all act very similar to Larry similarly to each other you know a dog's gonna act like a dog it's not gonna suddenly act like a bird and start flying um well all the characters that we like in shows be it human or not they have a lot of of lines and poses and the way they act and like it's they're very filled up with already preconceived notions of how they should be it's easier to be a dog than a character. Yes, it's easier to be a dog than a character. And I think that's like, it, it takes something, you know, to be like, I'm going to be this animal all day and every day of my life. Mm. Or, you know, it's kind of like if you're really into something in your life, but you find it kind of embarrassing, you know, you're not going to bring it with you everywhere. So it takes something. But I will say certain people in that culture creep me out more than others. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like I said, it, for some reason, it creeps me out, just, like, uh, not it creeps me out. Like, if, if I saw a huge convention of them, I'm steering away from that. Like, I'm not going, like, hey, it's time to take a trip down to, like, a place that's an hour away. Because, uh, you know, I don't need um, I don't need to see them at a coffee shop, a, you know, whatever. 
Um, Great shot. But, Come on. you know, obviously, you guys are more than welcome to do what you do out there. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, obviously, people look at anime the same way, right? In, in a lot of senses. Like, there, there's a lot of people. And I'm going to say this for very good reasons. I just I just finished uh, catching up on uh, the regular at Magic High School, and I was just telling them off air that... Um, you know, there's a really, you know, everything's great about that show, except for this really weird relationship between the brother and sister in that show. And brother-sister things are a really big thing in anime, and I'm getting really tired of them, too. Um, you know, I'm getting tired of people fucking animals and fucking their, sis their sisters and brothers. I'm get can we just, can we, can we just figure out a way to, like, 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 maybe, uh tickle the idea a little bit and then just not go with it instead of, Lucky like... Lucky but Raftalia! Yeah. Raftalia, lucky. Yeah. There's a lot of interesting things. Like there's Raftalia. Uh, I had checked out an episode of that. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. It's called like Derby Girls or something. Yeah. It's about and horse. I thought they were gonna be horse people. They're not. The only thing about them that is a horse is they have like horse ears. That's it. Uh, and a horse tail. Oh, they do. Yeah, they have a horse tail. And they're but really, like, really fast. They, you go from that from like uh, Monster, Masume. Monster Doctor or Monster Masune, and like that's a full size horse. So, I don't know. Well, that's a centaur. It's, it's, I don't know yeah. if it's like, they're like, okay, we got to make these more practical so people could cosplay as them or do them. I mean, it's, how does that work? It's the same length that, what's that, what's that one about the battleships? Uh, uh, um, um, I've never seen it, but I think you guys ended up think, watching think, it. Think, think, think. It's like blue something. I don't know. You, you'll think of it, Johnny. Speaking of blue, watch, watch Johnny's video on blue sub number six. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just like that. Where they're trying to make humanoid versions of things that shouldn't be human. Blue jet screen stream? No, that's not. No, no different. he's no, looking at that. He's good. Different, different one there. Um, no, it's like Al. <sighs> you, yeah, you just look it up. Just look up Battleship Girls. You'll Azure find Lane. it. Uh, Azure Lane. Um, yeah, I was like, ah. Um, and it's kind of like that. It's like, why are you trying to make Battleship sexy? Like, <laughs> where's this coming from? Like, do you want to have sex with Battleships? Come on! I came from Darling like, and the Franks. <laughs> yeah, this is Darling and the Franks. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. When they're not battleships, they're very attractive. But you're doing something that's strange, and you should know that it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> People yeah. are going to watch it. But, you know, like, acknowledge what you're doing. You know, I think that's the interesting Everything thing, is that, that, like, I also have to, like, sometimes I find myself in, like, a lull. Well, not, okay, so... Like I'll be watching Over something, the sea? and yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, <laughs> a little on the sea, um, but uh, you know, I'll be watching it. I'll be watching something. I'll be like, oh yeah, like there, there's a brother and there's a sister. They're gonna like each other, and then I'm just thinking in my head, why did I think that? Like it, it's gotten instilled in me, and so obviously, you know, the same level of scrutiny that I have with furries really does come in with anime, since I know a lot more about that um, and all the tropes, and we've talked about this before, but. You know, I, I, I'm just kind of bringing that up to kind of um, counter my point. I don't have point. a sister. Yeah, that's true. I do, and uh, yeah, that's not happening. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, just, it's just so weird, right? And uh, the other thing about, like, the regular at Magic High School, not to get too into it, but is, like, all these potential suitors for both are coming in. They're just like, I w <laughs> they're just thinking their whole the whole time just like i wish or uh the girl is at least like i wish i wasn't related to him like this is i'm only for there for nissan and i'm like oh god like why is this a thing but you know obviously that's a very oh that's not a small that's a that's actually kind of like half half with anime it seems like now but um i just bring that up to kind of counter why uh, to kind of Bring a, bring an olive branch to our conversation about furries. Obviously, I've trashed them a lot. It's more of funny hate than anything. You guys are more than welcome to, uh, you know, dress up as whatever you dress up as and, uh, you know, have at it. Uh, just give me a little warning so I can get the hell out of Dodge, and uh, we'll be fine. And, uh, you know, you guys can have your, your personas... Uh, Persona 5 and Persona 6 and Persona 7 coming out. And, uh, oh, dude, I love... I really want Persona 7 to come out. Dude, I... I I really kind of want to look up on YouTube at some point to see Persona, like, and see if somebody actually did like a, a furry version of Persona. <laughs> <laughs> and, but uh, I no, I don't want to watch that. Never mind. But uh, you know, like I said, there's all kinds of different things out there. You guys express yourselves however you want to. Also, those those suits are a lot of money. Um, so people are making some good money. So you know, keep at that. If you're if you're with somebody that makes those suits, um, keep at that. If you're somebody that wants to buy those suits, good luck. Um, I've heard they go up all the way to seven thousand. Uh, and uh, I've seen some of my scene. Yeah, 
Yeah, and uh, yeah, just to make sure uh, we're not talking about pennies here, people. We're talking about seven thousand uh, <laughs> dollars. And uh, yeah, they are. So yeah, I mean, if that's what you want to do, you're more than welcome. And uh, yeah, obviously, I'm gonna keep trashing you guys because it's fun. I'm also gonna keep trashing anime because it's also fun. But I'm also gonna keep enjoying anime. I'm not gonna keep enjoying you guys. Uh, but you know, it'll be uh, it'll be it'll be fine. We'll we'll live in coexistence. Everything will be fine. And but uh, we can both like anime. Yeah. Also, you guys are more than welcome to trash us. It's uh, why you know that's why we're here as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. As always, guys. Um, you know, watch out for our new videos. Um, we have uh, Johnny's. Uh, we have a blast from the past series that has just come out. Uh, Johnny's and uh, mine have come out, and then uh, as of this video, uh, uh, Michael's will have come out. I'm um, just kind of talking about uh, anime from our, you know, kind of that bringing nostalgic memories back from, you know, earlier in our lives, and, um, I had a real, uh, real good time kind of looking into them, um, mine and Johnny's don't really cover too many spoilers if you guys do want to watch it, I haven't watched, uh, Michael's yet, but, um, if you haven't seen that one yet, uh, I mean, you're missing out a lot, uh, so, you know, <laughs> there is, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot to look forward to, and also a lot to look forward to in the future, we have a lot in the works, as always, guys, you are more than welcome to give us suggestions for videos, we would, uh, love to hear from you guys, because we like to figure out what you guys, uh, want to, uh, want to hear about, or else we keep talking about furries, and then that might happen, so, uh, <laughs> or Lucky will keep on talking about furries, and, uh, is distrustful yeah. them, so, yeah, well, we'll you know. Look forward to our next video about incest, and we'll take that one out. I, I've already done, I, I have <laughs> already done a, a podcast about it. Also, I did add our Spotify account to, uh, to the banner up above, if you go onto our YouTube page, you guys can check that out, it's right next to our Instagram, or my Instagram, uh, our Twitter and uh, yeah, you guys are more than welcome to hear us rant about random things, and also that's where our weekend talks are now. So uh, yeah, as usual, guys, whether you're a furry or an anime casual or any of those kinds of things, um, just always remember while you're on this channel, just remember to keep it casual.